All right, I'm recording. Sounds good. Oh, wait, I have two desktops today. This is abnormal. You can mirror them if you need to. I see that. There we go. There we go. Cool. All right. Now I have a giant. That's the agenda. Um, is that what you're sharing? Yeah, so um, I figured today, since we've got um, a good amount of comments so far on the uh, the release metrics, yeah. um, we could just work through some of those as much as we can in the time we've got. Um, and I know there was one in particular that I had a bit of activity in the issue um, section, and then there were a couple of pull requests I saw for changing a couple of the other metrics. Um, but the the biggest one it seems to the the most discussion has been happening around this new contributors closing issues metric. Mm -hmm. um, What's the uh, issue? Come again, sorry. What's the issue? Um, so I think uh, so. Found Jim brought up a good point. Um, one of them is considering types of contributors who are not committers, um, and then Brian Proffert and Jesus also. Um, I think discussing the idea of, of what a contributor is in this context. Um, and also I get, uh, the use of the term new, mm -hmm. um, which uh, I need to read these again to see which ones I. Um, so contributors is a discussion that we were having over on um, risk as well. Mm -hmm. And we've, in the past, the discussion has been on the risk group, the discussion has been that we, you know, contributors are people that are, you know, they do things, they may commit, they may not commit, but they do things other than committing. So the contributor list includes all the people who make a contribution to the project that's recorded in the trace data. Mm -hmm. um, and Here, let me, so I'll is there, pull any, up some is there any disagreement on that point? Because Brian, Brian, agreed, yeah, Brian agreed with the changes I made in risk along the same lines. I, um, why don't we just kind of do that here? And then in the closing of this discussion, just say this is in line with how, kind of how we oriented things in risk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brian's, I guess, yeah. Well, I guess, I guess the question here Brian's asking is um, people are closing issues for the first time. I think the idea of a new contributor is, I think he's saying the idea of a new contributor, it's, it almost seems to me like to be new is the, f they're only new when they've never done anything before mm -hmm. for the repository. And as soon as they've done anything, they're long, no longer a new contributor in any sense. Um, they just have not, they're in, they've never closed an issue before, but they're still a contributor. I think that's the, to me, that's what the, that point is that Brian is making, which has some merits to it. I mean, as soon as you've done anything, based on the definition of contributors we've been using, that makes you no longer a new contributor, I think. So is it, um, is it uh, first closed issue? Is that really what this metric is more about? Like first closed first, issue on a contributor basis? Yeah, like the first time I as a contributor have closed an issue in this repository. Right, so like just a title that would be first time a new contributor closes an issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's basically what you're saying. I think, is that the, the metric you're going to go on? Closing issues yeah. for the first time, okay. Um, and so the yeah. question is how many contributors, okay. yeah. And that, yeah, maybe it's for the first time in a specific repository that we're really interested in, right? Yeah. Is that distinction well, of in this specific repository one that we should like? Um, I mean, all of this take is. Care to, like, I mean, all this is going to be operationalized. At the, the broadest scope would be all of the repositories in your worldview, right? Right. So none of us are looking at things other people have done on different projects outside of our worldview. So Pretty I, much. I would think the metric would just be closing an issue for the first time on a specific project. Mm -hmm. Do you agree, Matt? Um, yeah, I mean, I was reading that. And what, is, what was your point, Sean? That, that 
the scope of so you could so if I'm closing an issue for the first time, the scope of my concern about whether I'm closing an issue for the first time is that specific repository that I'm looking at. Okay. It's not the first time I've ever closed an issue anywhere on GitHub or GitLab. It's in this repo. It's the first time I've closed an issue in this community. Fair. Yeah. Well, in this yep. repo. Repo. Because the community often includes more than one repo. Right. Okay. If we're going with that. Um, I think that's fair because I think that would be interesting to know, for example, if we just look at the chaos project, mm -hmm. how many new people are closing issues in Augur mm -hmm. versus how many new people are closing issues in Grimoire Lab and particularly on, say, Sorting Hat mm -hmm. um, versus metrics. I, I, that would be interesting. Yeah. I think that's Sean, yours captures that. Exactly. I would agree with that. Um, so should we just go ahead and draft the change right now? 100%, yeah, let's just okay. Here, let me, let's do. So is that the only issue? Was was Jesus just replying to? To Brian. Um, I think he's basically reiterating the point. I think he's basically coming up with the same point that we just did. Um, okay. Like persons closing issues for the first time. Um, I think I think he is just uh, just agreeing with him. Yeah. And well, then what if we change the title to that? Persons closing issues for the first time. I think that would be okay. Should um, here, let me do it on my or people. Um, let's see. Ah. Mr. Paul on stream. Yes, sir. Ah. I'm typing too fast. <laughs> All right. Um, Let me jump to my own repo. <laughs> Why is this so hard? There we go. It was let me just search it, uh, searching for it. All right. So I pull up um, this new contributor closing issues. Okay. Um, so the title would be people closing issues for the first time or persons. Persons, persons or people. Person. Is it persons or? I don't really know what a, do, we, do we not want to call them contributors? Um, I mean, it, do they have to be contributors? No, like, no. Yeah. I, mean, I guess, I guess they don't think, I mean, it, uh, it, so is a contributor a person who simply closes an issue? Well, at that point they are. Yeah. Yeah. So. So I mean, just like. Um, we've used the language contributors elsewhere. Yeah. But if you think that's maybe too specific, we can use persons. Well. If you change it in one place, we have to change it in all. Well, no, not well, necessarily all. Not if, it, not if it means something different. Right. Which but, is what I'm probing. So the, if it's a, obviously persons is broader. Mm -hmm. than contributors. Mm -hmm. So it's just a level of specificity, I guess. Because mm -hmm. person could be like my wife, right? Right. Who's never contributed to the project in any way. Mm -hmm. But a contributor would have to be somebody who has contributed to the project in some way. So that could be a person who has helped with event management. Mm -hmm. So I, again, think, I think leading it at persons might be best, best then because it, it doesn't, and then it allows you to get to capture that group of people who have never done anything except for closing this issue now. They just, they just appear and close an issue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a magical triage fairy. <laughs> yeah. So, 
the way that you know, the permissions work by default on GitHub, and I think it's similar, is that I can close my own issue. Yeah. Um, but if I'm not, uh, like, if I don't have other privileges on the repository, yeah. I just can't go to a rando repository. <laughs> to start closing <laughs> issues. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So, so it's like, go rogue. you know, the most likely scenario is I'd either become, I'd either leveled up or I'm, I'm uh, closing my own issue. Mm -hmm. So there's really no, there's really no way that that just a random person could come in here. So then, to your right. point, so then it would really, it really would be contributors closing issues for the first time. Because if they're leveling up, if, yeah, yeah, you would no level up with no prior, literally no prior experience. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. I think for the, I had, I think this week we for the first time had someone open and close their own issue. But yeah, that's the first time I ever recalled that happening. Yeah, maybe we just live with that anomaly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could filter that one out. Right. I think it's contributors. Yes, contributors. 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 Okay, make sure I spelled it right. Um, okay, I'm okay with that. Um, and then, actually, um, there's does it change one, anything? This metric is an indication. Uh, so, um, actually, I did. I forgot. Uh, so, Tom Minns also. Um, had some stuff to say about the this specific metric. Uh -huh. um, I've got it up on the left side. Yep, so the the pull request. Um, so changing the question to in a given project, having that given that's that specificity, um, which I think is okay. Um, yeah, and I think Sean had even recommended in a given repository. Yeah, I think adding that it makes Reposit it in a in a in a in a given repository. Okay. That, yeah, instead of project because okay. project is a little bit. Oftentimes, it means more than one repo. Like the chaos project is multiple repos. There's a. Mm -hmm. Should I example? Should I just start this as a discussion on the pull request? As like this review comment. Um. Yeah, I mean, we have till next week to resolve okay. this, so. Okay, I'll just do that. Um, they proposing, yeah, in a given repository. The phrase, in a given, instead of in a given project, as a project often contains multiple repositories. That's good. Yep. Sorry to review. Um, okay, so this metric, uh, first, so the same thing, just within a given project. Um, so just, just I would just say see comment above. See comment above. Uh, I'll just say project. Ooh, yeah. Um, repository. Just to clarify. Um, so adding a new aggregator, it looks like, so proportion of contributors closing issues on this project oh. for the first time during a given period computed against all contributors having closed issues on this project during the same time period. Yeah. So I would say, um, I would, I think that's a completely fine thing to include. I would add just again, see comment above mm -hmm. project to repository. Um, so, is this the, was this just a typo in the original? Oh no, that's two separate parameters. Just one of them had the start lifted. So just having the one period of time, start and finish date of the period, of the period during which new issue closers are counted, default forever. Um, is, is he just proposing to combine? It looks like he's getting rid of one, kind of combining. Yeah, I think that's. That's I fine. Think that, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. Yep. Uh, 
and then adding a visualization uh, table with names of contributors to the closing issue for the first time and when that was. So which is the one we had. And then timeline showing the time on the x-axis, the aggregated metric value on the y-axis for fixed consecutive periods of time. For example, on a monthly basis, this visualization allows us to show how the metric is evolving over the time for the considered project. Um, I think that's a, a fine visualization, but do we, I know we discussed having like, if it's a visualization, we want to actually see the visualization or should we just be okay with doing like verbal descriptions? I'm okay with it for now. We can yeah. loop back in the next release. Okay. I, mean, I think I think the verbal descriptions are actually going to prove more robust over time. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot easier to change these. Well, and, and they won't need to change as much. Yeah. Right. Like a year from now, there'll be some new cool biz technology that makes us look dated. Yeah. It's all it's a 3D graph. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. Okay. Um. And then I think there were some other like actual, uh, yeah, some comments questions he did not uh, integrate. So the first one, uh, the metric name, again, back to the metric name, exactly. since the contributors are not necessarily new. Okay, so it's the same point that we were discussing on the- we on that. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, this metric seems specific to GitHub issues, but a similar metric, metric could also be defined for closing pull requests. That's fair, but that's not what this is. So yeah. I mean, it's a fair point. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a good metric to put on a list somewhere. <coughs> I did not see why the filter exclude reopened issues. Did he get rid of uh I don't think he got rid of it. I think he said that's one of the ones he didn't integrate. Which one is it? The right. uh, this filter, basically re reopened issues. Um, even if an issue has been reopened that was closed by a first time issue closer, it seems strange not to include that specific contributor in the count just because someone decides to reopen the issue later. I think that's fair. Um, was there a reason? I think, so I think Gay and I did this, and I think the, I think I came up with this, and my impetus behind it was, um, if somebody reopens it, it's not actually like fixed, it's not actually close. Um, even if, I know closing doesn't equate to fixing. So these are point in time indicators as well. So yeah, the, essentially including this reopen phenomena, um, like when I did this stuff for the science, Photos. Um, I showed them the time that it took to close each issue the first time and the time that it closed to close it the last time. And mm -hmm. most of the time they're the same, but sometimes they're different. Mm -hmm. And so if I want to know people closing issues for the first time, I guess I don't really, I don't care a ton, I guess, but how is it written right now? Is it is reopening excluded? Uh, yeah. it's, it's an optional filter. I mean, that's how I define it's okay. Well, if it's an optional filter, then it doesn't really even affect the metric definition, right? We're just it's, com it's completely vague. Well, we're sharing information. Yeah. Um, <laughs> essentially, we're saying, you know, you may want to consider excluding issues that have been reopened. Okay, well, then just to state that. Say this is why it's labeled optional. Yeah. yeah. So, so maybe, okay, so it says optionally here. So okay. maybe I should put the optionally out in front. I mean, they're optional. all optional. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would say the filter is you know, for some, some analyses, you may want to exclude, you may want to look only at issues that are currently closed. Mm -hmm. And if that's what you're looking at, then you're going to have an indication that someone closed an issue, but if it's reopened, they didn't really close the issue. Mm -hmm. It's like the issue's not resolved. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, you, you know, just, you, you may, you know, in some analyses, you may want to exclude reopened issues. Maybe mm -hmm. just like yeah, just add that text in some analyses. Um, yeah. Uh, what should I? Uh, what were we going to say for two? Just uh, we will make a pull request metric. Metric. Three. 
three. Um, uh, let's, re let's rewrite it, and then we can yeah. say we rewrote it. Yeah. Um, wait, uh, do you want me to rewrite the comment or just say that we're going to rewrite the metric? Sorry. Just go back into the files changed, and then let's propose a rewrite of it. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, oh wait, how do I? I can I can suggest a change, but I don't know how to do that. Um, instead of suggesting a change, I just edit it. Can I do that on a pull request? Oh, this is a pull request. Yeah. Uh, um, you know well, then maybe let's just make the pull request. Oh wait, edit pull request. What happens if I edit file? Man. I don't know. I feel like that's going to get. Yeah, I would merge this pull request and then edit it. Yeah. Let's just put it in the comment first how we want to rewrite it and then yeah. we can change it after we merge this one. <laughs> so we'll go back to his yeah. large, large yeah. comment. Um, no, not there. Go back to. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that. So three, we propose to rewrite. Yeah. Propose to rewrite. Right. As get filter as this. And then what do we propose? Um let me just copy what's there right now. Okay. Um excluding open issues. Um just maybe say as some analyses. Is that use is that the multiple is that you spell the multiple of analysis? With an E, yeah. um, may only want to include currently closed uh, solved issues. Um, too, too many words. Yeah, that is kind of a lot of words. I'll just say currently closed issues. Like that? Yeah. Is it worth any more? So let's just see what he says. Just I would say submit review. Yeah. Uh, it's just a conversation. So. Yep. That. Okay. okay. Uh, good. good stuff. Yeah, and like I said, this isn't. These aren't due till next Friday. Friday. Yeah. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um. So I guess just while I'm thinking about it. Um. So will I need to go through, um, since this is the last meeting before that time period, um, we'll yeah. have to respond to comment, comments, I think, and make changes without a meeting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing I, that for risk, and I can do that with you so you don't feel like okay. you're I, messing yeah. stuff up. Yeah, I just don't want, I want to make sure I'm not going to like, I'm not that I was planning on seamrolling anybody, but just want to make sure yeah. that there's as much. I'm, as much I'm subscribed to all this stuff, so yeah. I'll see. Okay. Yeah, and okay. I can do it together, and yeah. I can represent the general zeitgeist of the community. You know, and if you're doing it, this is like the, you're doing it in good faith. So yeah. I, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm not trying to be malicious about it. I've changed no. the meaning of contributor for the whole project. <laughs> you're gonna love it. <laughs> the C in chaos now stands for Carter. <laughs> Actually, that would be, uh, that's scary. Yeah. Um, okay, so I think that was everything in that pull request. Um, and I think that was everything on that issue as well. Okay. Um, so we can uh, move through the other issues. Let me just see. I don't think there were many others with a lot of um, comments at this time. Okay. Hi, Georg. Let me just. Hi there. Who's here? Oh, hi. Georg. Uh, this one was the ones that I fixed. Dialing in from vacation. Uh, no, he's back. Oh, he's back. Okay. I'm back in Madrid right now. Okay. Oh, okay. It's fixed. I suppose uh, that explains the clock on, on the wall. <laughs> oh yeah. It's much and what time is it five? Is it five twenty or three almost? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's almost five thirty. Fixed, 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 fixed. We've just been obviously going through the issues, Georg. Did I yep, I figured as much. Um Oh, this one I still have to, I'm going to add this link in since you, thanks for getting, sending those to me here, appreciate it. Um, so I will add those in for this one. And then um, 
I don't remember if I fixed this one, but it's just a short rename, so I can do that. Yep. Um, yeah. yeah. Do those too. And then I think the only other one was um, Xavier. I see you're also on the call. Um, was this one about code changes? And then I also think there were some pull requests attached to it as well, if I remember correctly. Um, so this one for code changes and code changes lines. Um, so for the the issue, um, I won't read the read everything out. Um, Xavier, if you wanna uh, to take lead on this and kind of explain what you're thinking, feel free, or I can just go through it if you like. Um, if you're there. Uh, yes, sorry. Yeah, maybe summarize. You, you heard me? Yes, we hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, I propose to uh, add a new filter uh, into the code change and code change line uh, matrix. I see. Here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, because uh, in uh, Odoo, if uh, you can uh, open the link or the link in the uh, guideline. This one? Oh, oh this uh, one. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. yes. So presumably there's other guidelines other than Odoo, but... They have uh, a guideline to define uh, the message uh, they use into your uh, their commit and uh, uh, with this, we can uh, filter the, the commit and uh, classify this commit uh, if it's uh, a fix or uh, adding a new feature or a review, I don't know. But I think you, uh, we can uh, use uh, this, uh, this tag to classify the commit and count uh, the line or the commit. Mm -hmm. So, like using the the tag to 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 like like you said, classify um, kind of the purpose of the command at a glance without having to get too far into the the code changes if it's a if it's a large um, if it's a large change. Is that like the the idea behind it? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, Can we, um, okay, so I get it. I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. Could, um, by, ta by tags used in the message of the commits requires a structure for the message of commit. Mm -hmm. Tag and, so what is the next header there? Tag in the message of the commit. It's uh, an explanation uh, okay. for the tag. The tag. Okay, this tag could be used. There's a D in open in an open source project. So there's a little bit of grammar in there. Mm -hmm. um, could we also in this metric include the link that Xavier provided? Yeah. You know, in the resources mm -hmm. or references. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And I have one more request, and that is to not format it as a subheading. Mm -hmm. Just roll it up into the text above. Yeah. I'll see because soon. in this release, we wanted to have only the headings in the template, nothing else. Yeah. So, yeah, so just get rid of tag and message of commit. Just roll line 68 up into whatever. Uh, line 64, probably. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Up to line 64. Um, <laughs> to like 64. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Like 64. Like 64. <laughs> <laughs> Grammar with an E. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's Valley Girl. <laughs> I am from Texas. Um, Valley Girl. Yeah, close enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, 
anything else uh, as far as this um, particular change goes? Oh, uh, well, and then also add the reference. Uh, the URL list. reference. I don't know where you're. Oh, you did it. Oh, you got that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. And and then thanks, yeah. Xavier, for bringing this forward. Oh yes. Yeah. Under references. Uh, I think we want it in both places, in the text and in references. Um. In the narrative. Yeah. Yeah, well, you could, yeah, you could just do like a like a footnote, not like a footnote, but a. No, I think what Gary, just here, because we can't see full of the screen. Um, you can't see the screen? Well, no, I, because the review is blocking something I want to see. Oh, um, there. So basically, and you could say um, by tags, and then you could just hyperlink that tags. So hyperlinked. On tags, yeah, or on under tags. Word. Tags. Like that? Yeah, something like that. What yeah. is that? Are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that arrow? Is that a zoom thing or is that a GitHub thing? It's a zoom feature. I can annotate. Oh. Wow. Whoa, that's fancy. <laughs> I'm using the class remotely. Oh. And my students this? started doing this during class. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> How do you do this? Yeah, I want to. It's an animal. Oh, top, I see. The feature, the options that I have at the top where I say annotate. When it, so it says you have an annotate option? I do. I do not. How did you get Yeah, see that smiley face? How did you change the color? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> This moving <laughs> meeting has become a Zoom meeting. <laughs> it's on your bar. There's that little, when you're in full screen mode of reviewing something, you there don't you go. see it. But if you go out to the bar. Oh, there's stamps? Yeah. Yeah. I have, I have meeting, view, edit, go and help. Huh. This is fun. Is there, a, is there an ellipses at the end that, that gives you more choices, Matt? No. Huh. I'll look. Uh, anyway. I'm, I'm happy that you all can do it. Anyway. are drawings. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually drag your bar up there. Yeah, yeah. we can. Let's move on to that. Yeah. <laughs> Short detour. Yeah. Five minute break. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I like these changes. Um, anything else before I submit the review? Nope. All right. All right, so we're asking Xavier to make those changes. Yeah, right? Xavier, okay. if you could make those changes for us, we'd be more than happy to merge pull, uh, pull requests in. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for it. Like the bottom option, request changes. Oh, yeah, oops. Can I go back? You then? can usually edit your review, yeah. Uh, um, Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'll just say request changes. There. So it's in there. Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. Move on. You know. Yes, he's on the call. Yep. Um, and then so um, this is the one for code changes. Is this the okay? So it looks like the same thing. Um, the tag issue. Yeah. The the same. Is the is it the same for uh, just code changes, Xavier? Okay, but I I can uh, change. Uh, the message and add the, the link okay like yeah. uh, the the other yeah. pull, pull request okay here for posterity's sake um Just follow the same instructions as pull request yeah or whatever yeah is it 300 yes so, yeah. see there we go. Okay. That was okay. Easy. Thank you for opening those, Xavier, by the way. We appreciate it. Thank you. You're okay. So those two. Um, and then, um, so I think the last, um, so that was this one. Um, oh, and by the way, okay. Matt, uh, we figured out the, it was a problem with, we fixed the four or three errors that were happening here. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it was just the the server was the server didn't restart correctly. Uh, it was the or that's that document deployment thing. Oh yeah. yeah, it was my fault. Okay. Um, but we fixed it. Okay, thanks. Yep. Um, I think the last uh, the last one is the issue age uh, pull request that Tom opened as well. Um, so let's oh, we'll do the same thing. We'll look through the file change. Um, so the first one, what is the aggregated time? Let me make this full screen. Um, what is the aggregated time that an issues have been left open in a project? So it's a switch from. So, so it's a switch from aggregate just from the oh from the aggregated time. So what's the yeah, it looks like he had it aggregated. Yeah. What is as opposed to average? Mm-hmm. So it's like a total time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does it say average in there before? It does yeah. say average. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I suppose, yeah, I think um, that makes sense. I, I, I think I might have written this originally, and I think I was not imagining the discrete issue, but that makes sense to have it not be at aggregated time that issues have been left open in the mm -hmm. project. So it's really that, you know, the metric is at the specific issue level, right? So it's actually yeah. saying, what is the aggregated time that a particular issue has been left open in a project? But or, this would be this would become aggregated, right? That's time. Yeah, ultimately it would be aggregated. So okay, if you're fine with it, then. So uh, yeah, so or, but we're aggregating at the specific issue level. You yep. would average across issues, but aggregate so opening like, and closing in a particular issue. Right, so the entire time that one issue, right. that one issue. So, open. so the aggregate versus average is how you're counting a, a discrete issue right. compared to how you're looking at the trend in a repository. Mm -hmm. To me, the language of the question suggests that it's aggregated all across the project. Yeah, that's how this is, because it's all issues with an S. So would that be if it's, you know, 10 days for issue A and 10 days for issue B, then the metric would return 20? So that's how this is written. That's, I mean, I think the, so the challenge, I mean, I'm fine with that. It's the challenge is that that will then become a function of how many issues are open, right? Yeah. So we won't, we won't get any distinction, you know, we'll, if we want to know a project that has 10 issues, how long they're open on average, or if I want to compare it with an issue with project with 300 issues, I'm mm -hmm. going to, I'm not going to have a, a metric that I can use to compare mm -hmm. repos with different issue volumes if I'm aggregating issues left open mm -hmm. plus um, if you've got one issue that's been open for a year and a couple of issues have only been open for a couple days then you have that year that's adding all of that to it'll increase that number by a lot of course you also have that problem with average because you get those outliers I, actually, I prefer average to be honest with you i think i do too i think average or a uh, median so so aggregated for me is a because mean is that okay? But median is the same as average, isn't it? So aggregated, I think when we go to aggregators, there are average and median as both options. And aggregated uh, means we are not looking at the I, individual times, but we have functions. So like I, average. so I think what Tom wants this to be is what is the aggregated time that a specific issue that 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 an issue has been left open in a project. Like by changing it from average to aggregated in the definition, he's focusing on the discrete issue. And then he's providing these aggregators later in the definition, which seems perfectly, that's a, that seems reasonable to me. Um, but the aggregators are functions of all the issues instead of that one issue. All, right, well, so that's so what the aggregation is. So, I don't think he's focusing on a single issue. He still writes about issues, plural, but yeah. he's adding median before if we just say what is the average, we cannot have median as an aggregator. Right. But I, I guess I'm questioning if Tom, well, I guess I don't know what Tom's really thinking, but I question the utility of having the aggregated time that open issues are open on a project. Just if I take 200 issues and total up all their time, I just question what that's signaling to me at all. Yeah. So in that case, you're assuming that the aggregating function is the sum function which is not one of the options. We only have two aggregator functions, which are average and median. So aggregate is not meaning the sum. Aggregate just means we are looking at something in the whole. 
So I think the question then is how long have issues been open on a project or in a project? Matt? Yes. So the way that the one on the left is written with um, what is the average time that open issues have been open and then having an aggregator of average is totally redundant. Right. Mm -hmm. True. So on the right, it is no longer redundant mm -hmm. because the metric is to aggregate. And then you can, from that aggregation, you can pretty easily determine averages. Mm -hmm. You can pretty easily determine means. Mm -hmm. Those are, so I, I, that's what I'm guessing here. Yeah, so if, if I wanted to make it more clear to a reader who hasn't processed all these different mathematical words, I might just have the question be how long is an, how long have issues been left open in a project? How long have okay. issues been left open in a project? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Aggregation in the definition is, con it took me a while to get my head around mm -hmm. that yeah. relating to the- Let's propose that it. change. Mm -hmm. So, how long have open issues been left open? How long has an issue been open in a project? Oh yeah. That's what you said first. Yeah, how long has an issue been open in a project? Should we add something about why but we- But I don't, I don't think we wanna focus on individual issues. Yeah. How so long have issues? I think- How long have open issues been open in a project? How long have issues been left open in a project? Well, how long have open issues- open, Oh, open, yeah. Open been left open in a project. Yep. In a, in a project or in a repository. Repository. repository is the word here. Because that's the level of granularity we're operating at. Yeah. Does that look right, Matt? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Um, we could even take out the in a repository because that's another filter. Oh, another, yeah. It's another repository yeah. or project. Yeah. So just how long have open issues yeah. been left open? Yeah. Okay. That'll... Mm, even simpler. I like it. Yeah. I do too. Yes. So this aggregate metric is an indication of how long issues have been left open in the considered time period. Just say this metric. This method instead of this aggregate method. Yeah, I think you were doing great. Yeah. I'm sitting over your shoulder and telling you what to do. <laughs> um, All right. Oh, what about the any of the rest of it? I think the rest of it is is fine. Issue has been closed but reopened yeah. again. It will be considered having remained open. That seems like a reasonable choice. I agree with that. I mean, we could also exclude that, but um, uh, is it? Is it? Yeah, I was just wondering what the utility of that sentence is. Is there anything under filters about that? Because that's in the other cases we've looked at that. Um, um, it doesn't. Here, let me pull up the actual. That was something that Tom had proposed. That. Is that right? I know we have. I know we have talked about how to treat issues that have been closed and reopened. Uh -huh. And I don't so, know if it's this one or others where we have always said we just ignore the fact that they have been closed temporarily. So it seems to be the standard that we have talked about in the past. What is it? The, how to treat the fact that issues have been closed and reopened, that we so, just ignore this time window. Um, when, when they're closed? Or, yeah, we just ignore that it had been closed. <coughs> Thank you. Which is basically what this is saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think it's consistent with other okay. metrics find. Well, then just add this review comment then. Okay. Is this the, oh, the only change is that the word 
bugs was issues. issues. That's perfectly good. I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. um, just adding that median aggregator, which mm -hmm. I think is okay. Um, though I think you just rolled this line. Uh, it looked almost redundant. Yeah, I think you rolled that line. That's what you did for the other one as well. Mm -hmm. The new issue. Yep. Yeah. I'm okay with both. I'm okay with all three of these. Yeah. Okay. I think it's just these two. Yeah. Okay. I think you have to move here. Um, and then let me see if they're uh, not yet integrated. So there's some more that aren't yet integrated. Um, I do not tend to, here, let me. Is I'll, this a different pull request? No, it's just the same. I'm going to, so this is his pull request on the right, and this is the text on the left. So I, we can have both of them up at once. Um, so I do not tend to agree with the proposed implementation description. Um, that does not currently include counting all issues that have been opened and closed in the time considered time period. I think these are just I rationales. For things we yeah, just I think edited. so too. These are just rationales for the things we just edited. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So I think we're good there. Just maybe let them know that um, we accepted it. Maybe message them in the issue. We accepted your pull request with some 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 small changes. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we requested a few small changes in your pull request, which will resolve this comment. I'm going to be taken. We feel Here. You might on the call on the evolution call because you might see we and go. Is Carter a hive mind now or yeah? Um. All right. Okay. Um, so that's that PR. I'll close this window now. I'll close that. Um, so I think we got through both of those. We got through both of those. Um, I'm just going to double check. Oh, this was the one that I, um, I know what to do with this one. Um, I was just waiting on that link from Gayard, which I have, so I can update that pull request. Uh, <laughs> and then I think... Um, all of the other ones, all of the other release candidate comments uh, were just the minor stuff. I don't, th yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in the general release notes. Um, it's all been on the issue, on the, the issues. Oh, yeah, so the release notes is for me. So okay. this is part, part of um, what I'm asking. This is why I'm on this call in part. So I'd really like um, you, Carter, to fill out. So go back to that release notes. Mm -hmm. And then in the comment, if you could just give me a bullet or two about what has been changed since mm -hmm. the last release in evolution. Okay. So including X number of new metrics, you know, updated existing set of metrics, mm -hmm. um, you know, what anything that, that you think is important to include. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna in comment in the next release. Yeah, so. Uh, changes in existing metrics, uh, new metrics added. Um, do you want me to mention the template change? Or, or that'll be a, across the whole project, won't it? Yeah, I can say that just one time. OK. Um, and I'll uh, go back and actually add this list in. But I'm going to put this here for now so I remember what you wanted yep. here. And it can be brief. I mean, it can okay. really just be short and to the point. If you uh, want more details on this, you can also go to the meeting minutes from mm -hmm. November, where we decided this on the weekly call. Okay. Um, and is there anything else that you will need from me, Matt, that you need me to do? Because Kevin will take care of transfer of transposing all of this stuff to the yep. website, right? Kevin will get it to the website. Okay. And. There's really nothing in the spreadsheet. I think Kevin has everything he needs there. Okay. So, and just kind of, you know, maybe uh, just next week on Friday, I'll probably reach out to you and just ask if all the metrics are ready to go. Okay. 
just as one final, you know, thumbs up from you. Sounds good. I'll make sure they're ready. Okay. Um, okay. I think that's all of the, the release note stuff. We've got about nine minutes left if there's anything else that we want to discuss. No, this was good. This was helpful. This is the whole thing. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah thanks. Right. I think we're good, guys. All right, folks. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Yep. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. I have a pull request for you to.